Hi, it's Mike Wood from Telstra here. We're actually on top of the 5G Innovation Centre rooftop. This is an area where it's been quite common to use these new NADA millimetre wave kits when you're climbing a tower or when you're assessing an area for safety. So in this scenario, we're looking at the air conditioning plant and we're looking at the access areas below the tower. Now, I've got the horn antenna, um, so the omnidirectional antenna, I only need to use one probe, but with the horn antenna, which is this one, I'm gonna to need to use this probe and take two separate readings. I'm gonna to have to take one polarity and then rotate it and take the second polarity. So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run a speed test and I'm gonna reset this and that's reset. Once it gets going, now you'll start to see the energy picking up from the tower and I'm measuring the actual level. I've got one polarization. When that finishes, I'm gonna hit the hold button and integrate it. It's just about finished. I'll hold there. I'll go evaluation, integration, and I'm measuring 0 0.0035. So remember that value, 0 0.0035. What I'm gonna do now is hit save, and that saved it. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna escape out of this, or unhold it, uh, escape, change the measurement range, and then do a reset once I hit my speed test. I'm running another speed test. I'm gonna hit the reset button, but change polarities. So now I've got the other polarization, and once it's finished reading its downlink, I'll push the hold button, and it's pretty well finished. I'm gonna hold that, and now I'm gonna do an integration. So evaluation, integration, and we measured 0.00412. So we have to add those two values together to give us the actual power density or the actual field strength relative to the standard at this location. Whereas with the Omni antenna, which we'll try in a moment, we can just use the single probe to do that job. Right, so we tried the horn antenna before and you need to take both polarizations, both vertical and horizontal and make sure there's nothing from the side, of course. Now we have the Omni antenna on the cable. Now, with this antenna, the null is actually point, when you point the antenna towards the source, because it's got a donut shape, you actually have to orientate the probe slightly away so you get the maximum pickup. Because our antenna is at the top of the tower, I should be able to hold it vertically like this or just move it around. So what we're gonna do now, before we even take a reading fill, you can see the uplink. Now that's something that you have to be aware of. On the screen at the moment, we've got a device and you can see it's actually picking up the uplink, which of course with the horn antenna it wasn't doing. So that might influence your results. We'll run a speed test and then I'll hit go on here and we'll, click, we'll measurement range, we'll change the range and we'll start to pick this up. Now, as I move the probe around, you can see it's not quite as sensitive and you can see the uplink is taking is dominating and I'm going to hit the hold button as soon as it's finished. Um, okay, hold. Now, what we saw before was that the average was actually a little bit higher before because we were using the horn antenna and we'll have to take the gain into consideration. But you've got the uplink factors that are really going to influence your result. So this is one of those situations where if you've got a device and it's near you, you have to account for that, um, or you have to get the site activated with the device further away when you're using an Omni antenna. Now, we don't have any uh, people using millimeter wave at the moment, so this was the only way that we could activate the service. If we took the device away from here, then potentially we would be on a different beam because this is very narrow beam forming. So it's one of those trade-offs where the horn is very good, but you have to take both polarizations with this probe, you don't have to do both poles, but you have to make sure you don't have undue influence from the uplink device.